Hello everyone, my name's Danielle and welcome to or back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing a skin condition called psoriasis and how that links to diabetes. So we're going to be diving into exactly what psoriasis is, what's happening in a diabetic's body for this to occur and how to treat it. I'd like to start off with my usual disclaimer that I am a dermal science student studying at Victoria University. I do not specialize in diabetes and I do not have a medical background. This video is all for educational purposes. This video does not take into consideration your personal journey, so if you are experiencing any of these skin conditions, please go and see a dermatologist or a dermal clinician to get it treated, as well as an endocrinologist to help treat and manage your diabetes. With all that being said, let's get stuck into the video. So psoriasis is a skin disorder that consists of red, scaly, plaque-like patches scattered across the surface of the skin. These patches consist of proliferating cells, which are often itchy, flaky, and dry. This disease is often mediated by the T cells and the dendrite cells, which are present in the skin. Inflammatory myeloid dendrite cells release a series of interleukin pro-inflammatory cytokines, which are responsible for this proliferation. So if you watched my video all about diabetes and how it links to the skin, you might remember me talking about ages and the NF-kappa B pathway, which basically changes gene expression and produces all of these inflammatory cytokines. And what I want you to note is that they also produce other inflammatory cells and molecules. So you can probably see where I'm going with this video. So as I've said in a previous video, a lot of people believe that diabetes is the reason for these skin conditions to present themselves. But in my research, I actually found that it was quite the opposite. So as we can imagine, inflammation isn't only present in a psoriasis skin type, it's also been shown to affect other organ systems as well. So it's been theorized that psoriasis is a systematic entity rather than a dermatological condition alone. And it's been connected to multiple different diseases such as coronary artery disease, hypertension, and of course diabetes falls under that category. It's also been found that if you already have psoriasis, you are twice as likely to develop type 2 diabetes due to the inflammation already being present in the bloodstream leading to insulin resistance. So something that's really interesting is that in both diabetes and psoriasis, there is an increase in the T helper 1 cell and the T helper 17 cell, which are both inflammatory cytokines. And both of these inflammatory cytokines are responsible for insulin resistance. So if you watched my What is Diabetes video, you might remember me discussing the islands of Langerhans. And if you didn't, islands of Langerhans are basically endocrine cells that are scattered all through the pancreas and they're responsible for the endocrine function of the pancreas. It's been found in research that this is where the T helper 1 and T helper 17 cells lie. So due to inflammation already being present in a diabetic, this leads to an increase in the insulin-like growth factor 2, which is a type of protein hormone. And this increase is found in the skin and blood. This type of growth-like factor is linked to both diabetes and psoriasis, and it actually promotes epidermal proliferation. It's this manifestation of the growth-like factors promoting epidermal proliferation and the T helper 1 and T helper 17 cell activating the inflammatory process and enabling the production of psoriasis. And this is how it is a linking factor to diabetes. Further research is needed to be conducted to completely understand why diabetes and psoriasis link. But for what we know so far, these modifications within the body are the underlying cause and reason. Hello everyone, um, I just wanted to add a little section here um, just about the treatment of psoriasis because I forgot to put that into my script. Um, so I'm just going to discuss the treatment here. Now, like I say in all of my videos, if you are experiencing any of these conditions, it's so important that you go and see either a dermatologist or a dermal clinician to get it treated. Um, but generally what will happen is um, the dermal clinician or the um, dermatologist will have a look at the area of the psoriasis and they will probably use a algorithm to help assess the severity of the condition. And depending on the severity score that comes back after the use of the algorithm, this will help determine exactly what method of treatment the practitioner will decide to use. And do keep in mind that we do actually have different types of psoriasis um, that can actually occur. So it can occur on the hands, the palms, the feet. Um, we can get the plaques obviously all over the body. Um, there's pustular psoriasis. Your nails can also be involved. So please keep that in mind. Um, and the algorithm really helps to determine um, obviously the different types of modalities that we can use um, for treatment. Um, but general advice would be to avoid smoking. Smoking, um, avoid excessive alcohol consumption, maintain a healthy weight, just, just a standard kind of advice that we would give someone who has diabetes as well. 
Um, there is also the treatment option of emollients. And in fact, we can actually use a salicylic acid on small areas to manage the um, psoriasis. But this also depends on the type of psoriasis. Um, so like I said, please go and see a dermatologist or a dermal clinician because they will actually be able to analyze the psoriasis that you have and go from there in terms of treatment options. I hope this video has been super informative for you all and I hope you all learned something new today. If you could please go ahead and like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel to follow along my series all about diabetes and how it links to the skin, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Bye guys.